What is good and welcome back to another episode of Catching Up with Chase. It is episode, I don't even remember, but today we got a lot in store for you today. We have my opinions on the draft um, from day one to day two so far. And we're going get straight into it. Let's go. First pick is what we all knew. What we all knew was going to be who was going to be. Trevor Lawrence goes to the Jaguars with Urban Meyer. It's going to be it's going to be good. Later on, he links up with his partner too, Travis Etienne. But we get back. We'll get to that um, later on. And I feel like well, everybody had him as a number one overall consistent quarterback, so that was expected. So it was expected for him to go to the to the Jaguars. Um, the Jets, everybody kind of had a feeling that Zach Wilson was going to go there, and he did. Zach Wilson drafted number two, two overall off the board, number two quarterback off the board as well. Um, and I feel like Zach Wilson had a great pro day. Well, he did have a great pro day. That also helped his draft stock. He helped his draft stock a lot. He's like a gunslinger. Um, he's a gunslinger. He's going to make risky throws. But that's that's what you get whenever you draft him. Um, so I'm comparing to Brett Favre and the type of mentality he has when he throws. Number three overall, my guy, one of the sleepers, not a sleeper, but like the wild card of the crew, Trey Lance. I like Trey Lance a lot. He won every game. I believe it was every game. He went undefeated as a starter. Um out of all 17 starts, I think, he only has one interception. That's crazy. Like, over 48 touchdowns. Um, I like Trey Lance. Came out from a small town, underrated. They told him he couldn't be it. But he went out and betted on himself and proved everybody wrong. And I feel like you can only commend him for that. Um, skipping the, I think, yeah, and then next pick, fourth pick. Kyle Pitts, everybody's saying um, he's gonna he's the number one. Some people say he's the number one overall player, and they had him as a number one overall player, but number one tight end, number one pass catcher off the board. Number, I think the highest overall tight end since like 1960 ever drafted. <clears throat> I think he made history though. Um, then I'm gonna skip a couple. Number six. Episcopal alumni, Jalen Waddle, taken to the Miami Dolphins. First receiver off the board. And he is reuniting with Tua. All teammates, former teammates, reunite. It's going to be dangerous, especially with that speed over there in Miami. You got Hakeem Grant, Jalen Waddle, Devontae Parker. Um, Devontae Parker was two, two seasons ago, pro bowler. Um, if I'm not mistaken, thousand yard receiver. This is going to be nice. Tua's going to have some weapons. It's going to be a fun um, OT. Penny Sewell from Oregon. Everybody had him going top ten for sure. Um, that was expected. Then number eight, first cornerback off the board. It was going to be between him and Patrick Sertan. First cornerback off the board, J.C. Horn from South Carolina. Um, getting drafted to the Carolina Panthers. Um, and not just the first corner off the board, he was also the first play. He was the first defensive player off the board. Um, and I think, let me see if I'm not spe- um, mistaken, Carolina has yet to draft an offensive player in the Matt Rule era. But that's beyond the point right now. Number nine, the guy from Bama right here, Patrick Sertan. Great size, um, great speed, four four six. He's smart. Father played in the NFL. Um, a lot of people thought he was the number one top DB um, between him and J.C. Horn, but he's going to the Denver Broncos. 
been the number 10 pick. The Eagles traded with the Dallas Cowboys and picked up Heisman winner Devontae Smith. Devontae Smith, guys, had an outstanding season this year. Won the Heisman. He's going to meet up with Dak in Dallas and be in Jerry's world. <laughs> It's gonna be it's gonna be a nice thing to see him, Dak Prescott, Amari Cooper, Ceedee Lamb. It's gonna be a good receiving core. Eleven, right here. My my fav one of my favorite prospects, Justin Fields. Drafted to the Chicago Bears, traded the pick with the New York Giants. I'm surprised he slipped this far. I'm surprised he fell. To number eleven, I thought he was going top like top six for sure, but it is what it is. He's going to be over there. Um, some of his receivers they will be having Allen Robinson. Um, that's up off the top right there. Cowboys number twelve pick. They picked on Michael Parsons. I'm gonna skip forward a little bit. Well, the Jets got another pick and they pick up um O lineman. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. I think it's Ali Javera Tucker from USC. Then the fifth pick, Matt Jones. Matt Jones from Alabama. Highest completion percentage. I mean, you can't really say much. He played great. He played tre tremendous. His trademark is his accuracy. Um, and this is the first time... Bill Belichick has picked up a quarter in the first round in a while. Since the last time they picked somebody up was Drew Bledsoe. But I feel like this is a good match right here. But also, they, they drafted him, but Cam Newton does still have one more year. He just signed a one-year deal. So we'll see how that pans out. Skipping forward a couple picks. The, the 24th pick, Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh Steelers selected Najee Harris. And I feel like they're trying to kind of get a, a player that was like Le'Veon Bell, like a bigger back who can, who's a, elusive, can make cuts. He'll go over you if he needs to. And that's, what, that's my comp. Um... That's who I compare him to. I feel like he's like a he's like a Le'Veon Bell type player. And I feel like the, the Steelers are very excited to have him. Then the very next pick, the Jaguars select Travis Etienne. Travis Etienne to the Jaguars with Trevor Lawrence teammate connection and just meet him back up. That's a good pick. I like Travis Antien. My comp to him is um, Alvin Kamara. I've always said they both have great balance. Both catch great out the backfield. And I just I like him a lot. To the 32, the last pick of the first round, Tampa Bay selected a DN. Joe Tyron from Washington. And Yep. Now I'm finna move to the second round and we'll wrap it up. I'm just get through a couple names that I know. Um I've been watching today. Pittsburgh alumni. Walker Little's been drafted to Jacksonville as well. Um Kyle Tracks to Tampa Bay. He's gonna be sitting under the GOAT for I don't know how long. But um quarterback from Florida, Kyle Trask. Then also quarterback from Texas A and M, Kellen Mond drafted in the second round um well second or third round i can be i'm hold up let me check i want to be specific and sure on what round and when he got drafted and yeah um Kellerman drafted in the third round and kyle trash was the last pick of the second round so those are two quarterbacks that um man i can't even this quarterback draft class was stacked. Um, I think it's one of the stacked of all, the most, one of the most talented of all time. And this draft class has been good. Um, six, six Alabama players. 
in the first round. Crazy. That's crazy. Um, but these are just my opinions on the draft. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys later.